Good morning, good afternoon, geeks and gamers of all kinds. Welcome to another episode of Geek Tavern Radio. I am Shill and I am joined with... Me, Mike Bundy. And we are thoroughly excited to bring some fabulous news to you guys, as well as our top five most anticipated games. Um, we're going to discuss that later in the episode, but let's just jump right into the mo- the news. We're going to talk about today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, oh, wait, there wasn't one, because tragedy, tragedy struck. Yeah, well, right? I mean, it, at least there's a good reason, obviously. Right, that's justifiable. You know, there was a big earthquake in Japan, for those of you who didn't hear, um, and Nintendo, uh, it's, I want to say like an hour. 7.5 in some places. Yeah, right? It's crazy. Um, that's, that's huge. It's a very densely populated area as well, and there aren't, you know, um, for as densely as it's populated, there aren't a whole lot of casualties, which is a positive thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's that's nice, and it's cool to see Nintendo reach out and help their community instead of putting emphasis on, on fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right? Like, because, I mean, the American Because they're pre-recorded things, so, I mean, they could have just went with it, but... Yeah. It, it is what it is, I mean. Yeah, um, so, you know... They're taking a little bit of time and letting the community heal a little bit. Uh, rumors are circulating that it's going to be next Thursday. Um, what I, I There isn't really a time. I think it was slated for 3 o'clock Eastern today for us because we're in the Pacific. Eastern time zone. Oh, it was 3 Pacific? Okay. It was 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. All right. So that would have been... Um, Which would have been fantastic because I was off. Yeah, yeah. So next <laughs> Thursday, it'll probably be the same time. Uh, is our estimation. And the, the big key player here is that there were Splatoon items, data miners found, that were supposed to drop today. So they were thinking that they were going to be announced during the Direct, yeah. and then they were going to drop immediately afterward. Those have now been pushed back um, to what looks like next Thursday. So, um, Which I don't know where it came from. This just popped into my head. This isn't on our, you know, our itinerary. But um, I shared on Twitter... And on Facebook, on the Geek Tavern, um, they they released a a little trailer for uh, Broforce, which is actually a game that I played thoroughly on PS4. Um, but it's coming to Switch, and honestly, I didn't check the eShop. It might have dropped today. I don't know, because I don't oh. know what the reason of that trailer is. But, right, right. That's valid. But the uh, trailer is awesome. It, you know, that game's just ridiculous. Research it if you want. I'm not right. going to spend a ton of time on it, but... Uh, yeah, that was just a cool thing. So I don't know if that was supposed to be part of the direct, yeah. and they just dropped it, or if it was totally separate. But it was uploaded today, so I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> either way, this time next week we'll probably have some Nintendo news that we'll be discussing in depth. Oh, yeah. um, I'm really excited for it. I've got some things that I'm really hoping for. I know they're going to talk more about Smash and Let's Go. Yeah. You know, let's hope they drop some new titles that are to release in the spring. Some new that would characters. Be really cool. Some Smash. new characters. There will definitely be one character reveal. Um, definitely one, right? Everybody's it, saying Goku for some freaking reason. It's not gonna happen because they made that they made that Z Fighters game yeah. or whatever it is, Fighters where Z. they put um they put all those those Bandai characters together. You know, oh, like oh, Naruto that one. and that yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's not gonna, um, what was that called? I forget. Uh, if Cody was here, he would tell me, but I don't know. But yeah, they, they're doing that game, so there's no way that he's gonna be in Smash Brothers. Jump because Star? they're going yeah, know. Jump Star, is that Jump Start. Um, but yeah, there's no way he's going to be in Smash. Um, I hope for Banjo Kazooie or Ukulele even. Well, like it, those would be fabulous characters to have. I'm waiting for Crash because it would make too much sense. Yeah, Crash or Spyro or yeah. something to that extent. Spyro not so much at this point because it's not even on the Switch yet. That's valid. It hasn't been announced. Yeah. So, either way, we'll see some crazy stuff out of um, out of the direct, and hopefully, we get something like an Animal Crossing or overwatch that comes in and goes to crossplay with all the other overwatch versions that are out and then you know um we can see some some more wonderful things that uh that nintendo is doing with microsoft yeah um so speaking of things that they're doing with microsoft because they're you know they're kind of in bed together for a lack mm-hmm. of better terms um sony I guess, put out another statement or a representative or somebody within the company, um, you know, basically just double confirmed their status, I guess you could say, on the crossplay. Yeah. Um, you know, Sony just claims that PS4 is the best place to play games. 
and that they're, that's why they're not allowing crossplay. Like that's and it's we're awesome. You, it's gonna you don't need em. to play with those other pieces it's of trash. It's gonna kill them. It's gonna kill them <laughs> because didn't Bethesda's director say that set, Fallout seventy six is non negotiable, right? Like yeah, I mean I don't know. I'm fairly don't... certain he said crossplay is non negotiable. If it's not crossplay, it's not going to Sony. Yeah, well I I don't know. I don't have any information on that, but. That'd be pretty awesome if if Bethesda was like, yeah. Screw someone off. I remember I remember seeing someone put a hard line in the sand that said this is a non negotiable. You're doing crossplay or you're not getting the game. Hmm. I don't remember which game it was, but I remember yeah. seeing the story. Huh. So that's out there. Yeah, I mean that's out there. We'll come Look back to it. that because I don't know. Look for but, it. <laughs> um, so uh, kind of going back to the the direct because I think this is something we probably would have seen in the direct today. Um, Nintendo seems to have accidentally oh, leaked yeah. the title of Yoshi's uh, previously unnamed game. Um, supposedly, it's named Yoshi's Crafted World. Yeah, that's an interesting. It's that's an such interesting a medi- name. mediocre name. Yeah, I agree. Like um, for a mediocre Yoshi's Yoshi Woolly game. World made sense because that's how the game was. Yeah. And I feel like this is just like, what's this game look like? Oh, it looks like it's crafted. Yeah, well, then that, I mean, I get I it. They, they tried to match the art style and pull yeah, off what they did with Woolly World. But I think they should have just ported Woolly World to the Switch. Yeah, dude, that game's phenomenal. Like, I loved playing that one. Um, and in the last, you know, year or so of me having my uh, Wii U, um, I don't even know if I said it on the show here, but I got rid of that. But, um, you know, the last year or so I had it, that's one game that I played was you know, Woolly World. World. Yeah. It was about it, really. Yeah. I mean, it was fabulous. I thought they hit really hit the mark with um, with that Yoshi game. Um, I didn't think that Yoshi's New Island was terrible for the yeah. 3DS. There were some tracks on there. That Honestly, were really, I never played that. They were really ear-splitting sometimes. Oh, really? Right? Like if you, especially if you were playing with headphones. They just jarred mm. your ears. So it, the soundtrack on it wasn't great. But the, yeah. game, the game was pretty fun. Um, I, I would probably say that it's a I forget it's a who it was it, it might have been our friend Dave over at DGR on YouTube and Twitch now um cheap plug for you uh <laughs> I believe it was him you know had said that he did not like that title at all really yeah and I, I know there's people out there that just did not like that game. it wasn't the best yeah like um they've been really trying to get uh a game to to really hit the mark like um Oh, what was the what was the first one? Yoshi's Island is what it was called, I believe. Super Mario World Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They really haven't hit the mark since then. But Woolly World was probably yeah, I went the back best. and played that game. Yeah, like it's so good. Yeah, Woolly but, uh, World's probably the best one since then. Yeah, the best. And it like... really deserves it. And they did port it to the 3DS. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you have no other way of playing it, definitely put yeah. it on there. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a, it's and, he, a, and it has uh, Poochie or whatever. Yeah, it's got the additional content with Poochie. And basically easy mode. That's basically what oh, is that was. Yeah, it's kind of like, like Monkey the, Kong. This, yeah. Yeah. I was just so, going to say the surfboard guy. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it was, a, it was a pretty good. It was a pretty good game. I really uh, enjoyed playing it. Yeah, so two couple minor things. It really isn't anything for us to really discuss. Um, the Anthem producer, one of them, uh, said that there will be a complete game at the time of its release next year. Um, I just thought this was interesting because we don't get, quote-unquote, complete games nowadays. Right. There's always there was... a day one patch or a, you know, whatever. Look at um, Mass Effect, uh, whatever the heck the last one was. Yeah, Andromeda? Uh, Andromeda, Andromeda the last yeah. One was? Um, like, it was so bad and didn't get fixed right away. Mm-hmm. That like it immediately was down to like twenty bucks. Yeah, and Master Chief Collection. Yeah, was so broken at launch. It was broken. It was super reduced, and they were basically now free with Game Pass. Go get that crap. Yeah. Um, um but then the, like it, it's nice to see because um, this comes at the heels of uh, Shigeru Miyamoto did a big he he did a big interview um, with some big um, some some big publication. I don't remember yeah. which one it is, but I, I watched the coverage of it on the know. And they had mentioned that um, Miyamoto was really talking down microtransactions in games. 
Um, meanwhile, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is a game. My wife plays that routinely, yeah. unendingly. And um, she to this never day. spent, yeah, to this day. <laughs> and she has because they're constantly adding new content. Oh, really? I didn't constantly. Know they were. Yeah. And um, you know, she never spent any real money in it at all. Could that ever be ported to the Switch? If they made it a world, yeah. I mean, if they let you travel from world to world just by moving around, yeah. Um, I mean, it could be. I mean, it the Switch is touch screen, so like you can. You can click the different yeah. world parts. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, just... they, they did Quest. Pokemon Quest yeah, right. is playable on the Switch pretty well. Um, I actually, I think that's it's better. Out yet on... It's, on, it's on everything now. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's a lot better on the Switch. Oh, yeah. Um, than the... But meanwhile, they have games like that, and Miyamoto is talking down microtransactions. I mean, they've got Quest all these and... games... That... Well, Miyamoto probably doesn't have anything in these games. Yeah, you're probably right. Specifically. Right, because they did Super Mario Run. Yeah. And that was just a buy it once and play it. And it, it actually didn't do as well as they had hoped. And they even got a free, like, update later. Yeah. It still gets updates, I think. Yeah. So, like, seasonal like seasonal events and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's cool that they're, they're taking the approach to mobile. It's just that, you know, everybody's trying to navigate this space. And we don't see full games yeah. come out very frequently. Yeah, so complete games. Even even that was the whole point. <laughs> so we're gonna touch on Spider Man Four for the PlayStation Four as well. But this is a good good transition. Is that I already see that that game has DLC announced. Yeah, yeah. And is it even out yet? Comes out like in four hours. Oh, okay. So tomorrow. <laughs> but it, like the DLC slated for less than a month from now. <laughs> part Part One. Okay. There's gonna be three parts. Yeah. The first part is basically, it's kind of like what uh, they did with Batman back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe you're going to play as Black Cat okay. in this DLC. Kind of like what they did with Catwoman in, mm-hmm. in Batman. One of them. I don't forget which one. City, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, so the, the this is kind of old news, but I just, I wanted to talk about it a little bit and get your perspective on it, because I know we haven't talked about this. Um So, you know, there was the original trailer for this game at E3 this last, you know. Yeah, yeah, about a year ago. Uh, There was that one, and then they they did more like this year. But the initial one, you know, it said it was in Game Engine and all that stuff. Um, But now, like the new trailers that have dropped leading up to its release, um, people notice some changes in the the world. Yeah. Uh, Like... And this was the controversy: was the puddle was smaller, um, and when you do side by sides of like the same trailer, they they change the trailer to like what it actually is. Mm-hmm. Um, it it looks just you can tell it's more animated. It's not as real looking. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the only way I can know how to describe it. Um, but people are losing their minds because it's toned down well see here's the thing about trailers man and nobody ever reads the fine print um they always put on their game footage not final yeah you know what i mean no, i know like that is i mean there's logic like people have come out and said this you know uh you look at any game yeah any game you know their initial trailer at e3 is never exactly ever the way the game what is. it is yeah when the game amen comes out. man like they even they've done stuff like that with battlefield in the past as well, right? Yeah. Like Battlefield 4, when it was shown off, they said that it was, oh, in-game graphics, right? Yeah. No, no, not so much. Yeah. Right? Because those cutscenes were individualized cutscenes. They do this. Yeah. And everyone knows that they do this. And the big so thing the that they're speculating, thing, or people are speculating, is, oh my god, what's The Last of Us 2 gonna, you know, look like? It's oh, like... Yeah, they're just using... Yeah. Dude, the internet, man, is is a beautiful tool. To help communication across all levels, but it is like really this is, exposing the underbelly of some things that's just disgusting. Like, I guess I just want to talk about Spider-Man. Like I said, we're like four hours away at the time of this recording, and I pre-ordered that. It's the first game I ever pre-ordered on a system. Really? Like, like digitally. Like, pre-order. Oh, okay. So you've already got it pre-loaded and downloaded and yes. ready to go at midnight. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to probably play it at midnight. I'll fall asleep before that, but... <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, uh, I don't know. This game, 
people are losing their minds about that. And it's like, just enjoy the game. Yeah. It's going to be a phenomenal game. Right. Uh, We've sucked all the fun out of video games. Yeah. People you know? have. Yeah. Like, games I, are, I games are meant to be fun. Yeah. You know, that's why we love them. As long as it's playable. And I, I guess, like, it doesn't matter to me if it, quote unquote, looks good. Mm-hmm. And obviously, it doesn't matter to a lot of people because look at like Fortnite. Like it doesn't yeah. look good. Yeah, you know? right. It's cartoony and it's goofy and. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. Like. Yeah, aesthetically, it's got its yeah. glitches and stuff too. Well, I'm like, thinking like the people. Like it, it honestly looks like a PS2 game if mm-hmm. you, if you want to get into it, you know. And that that doesn't matter to me. Now I know I said on one of the previous episodes about uh, Monster Hunter. We're not going to hold your feet to the flames, but that's before you knew that was a port. <laughs> that's the thing. Like I thought it was a brand new game, or like a. I knew it was a port, but I didn't know it was a 3DS port. We'll say that. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah so enjoy Spider Man. It's going to be fantastic. Twenty eight costumes. Twenty eight costumes. Twenty eight costumes. Wow, that's insane. This and they all do different things. And they all do different. They things. all do different things, just like the Spider Man for PlayStation One. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be a fantastic game, and we're really looking forward to it. Oh yeah. And speaking of looking forward to games, oh yeah, let's head right into our top five games. Top so five. This top five is dedicated to stuff that we are really looking forward to. That's still a little ways out. Um. You know, I don't know if I don't know what Mike's like list looks like, but I assume the Spider Man's on there. I don't know. We'll have to talk it out. <laughs> but Mike, why don't you go ahead and start us and jump into your number five? Um, here's the thing that I'm gonna have to talk about at some point. Maybe in the future, I'll do an episode with uh, with Shane from you know the Wrestle Talk uh, side of things. But uh, this is games, and it's a game. And it is WWE 2K19. Now, I get these games every year. And I know it's kind of, it's one of those things you're like, really, you're waiting for that. But I'll tell you what, I am. They just yeah. released part two of the roster today. Didn't watch it all yet. But they announced 62 people on top of the 60-some last time. <laughs> like, oh, wow, that's a big roster. It's crazy. Yeah, that's a huge roster. You know, we got, last year was kind of hit and miss with the NXT people. You know, they had the big ones. Bobby Roode was in, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, like, this year, it's, like, a ton of people from NXT. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, you know, instead of just the few main people. Right. Um, so, like, it's just, it's more and more and more every year. It's interesting to see that what they've done to, to turn that into, like, a third brand. Yeah. A very successful Literally, third uh, brand. Yeah, like, not even, it's a touring brand. I mean, I don't know if yeah. you, you know that. I know you've been yeah. out of it for a while. It's a touring brand. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and in this game, they're bringing back the showcase mode. I uh, guess we'll go into it a little bit. It's Daniel Bryan. You play through Daniel Bryan's career. Career. Oh, really? Uh, so, I mean, we're getting we're getting Daniel Bryan. They showed it in the preview. Daniel Bryan versus John Cena on Velocity. You remember that shit? No. <laughs> Velocity? I remember Velocity. It was on Velocity, Saturday nights. I don't know. Yeah. It was on Saturday nights at, like, 11. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It was uh, it was the redheaded redheaded stepchild to Sunday Night Heat. It was worse than that. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, um, so yeah, that sounds awesome. You and Shane should definitely dive into. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I think we, guys. I think we might just brainstorming on the show here might do a, a full recap of the, all the people mm-hmm. that were announced. Awesome. So go ahead with your number five there. All right, so this is going to be a weird one, right? Because this is a game that I've already played. <laughs> but I'm really actually, I just found out about the announcement not long ago. Yeah. And uh, I'm really excited to play the port on the Switch because I'll probably end up picking it up. And that is Lego Harry Potter. I did not know about this. Okay. the Lego <laughs> the, They announced uh, either yesterday or today uh, that the Lego series is bringing the Harry Potter what years one through seven all the way through the whole games to the Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure I own all of them on PS4. Yeah. I just never played them. Oh, they're fabulous. They're I just still, as good as Star Wars. I've literally never seen any of the movies other oh, than really? the first one. Well, then that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> right? And that's so why I haven't remember. played it, because I plan on watching them. Yeah. Just never have. I remember, them. I remember I bought the... Um, 
This is off off subject, but it's still Lego related. Yeah, yeah. I got the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean game. Terrible. It was really bad. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I got it before I saw the the movie that oh. was at the end of that. What was it? The fourth or fifth one? Before Probably the saw, fourth one. The fifth yeah. one was last year. Okay, so it was before yeah. I saw that fourth one, <laughs> and I was like, I don't, I don't understand anything that's happening here. Yeah. Not a thing. Yeah. And it was like. I got. I was going through it, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna keep doing the objectives and figuring out what's going. You know, it was it was a bad play. So don't don't do that with Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> At least watch the movies first. Yeah, that's why but I haven't done it. They are just as fun as the Star Wars games because you have a lot of the same carryovers with oh, yeah. power, right? Right. Yeah. Because of the magic, they can do everything the Star Wars characters can do. Yeah, like the Force build. Yeah. You know, you right. Do it with the magic which is thing. different. Which is different from the superhero games because the superhero yeah. games were fun in their own right. In the superhero ones, you have people like The Flash yeah. or uh, Quicksilver really fast put stuff together. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, But I'm really excited for the Harry Potter port to the Switch. Um, mm-hmm. I'm at, I may actually end up picking it up. Like, Dude, I hope they port a point. ton of them. Yeah. Yeah, like the Dude, whole Star Wars. Dude, if they like, kind of remade the Star Wars ones, maybe mm-hmm. put some dialogue with it. Because yep. that was before dialogue was a thing. Yep. Was there dialogue in Harry Potter? No. No? no, okay, that was before the yeah. They just as well. did the noises. Um, okay. No dialogue was out because those were for 360. Yeah, but um, oh, oh, I mean, you mean that they like the voice acting? They, yeah, no, they don't need them. They don't need it. Uh, no, I'm not saying that they absolutely need it, but I just think it'd be a cool thing yeah. to put put into it. This would be a good. This would be a good Christmas gift for kids yeah. as well. So you know, and, and for the price series. of one game, you get. I mean, I don't know it was how two. to. It was split, split it up in two. It was years one through four, then three through seven. Okay. Or four through seven. Yeah. Whatever. Or five through seven, because seven technically was I mean, two that'd movies. be a great little package. So, yeah, it's a good one. Probably um, be 40, um, maybe. I don't it might be. be. I don't Probably know. Probably wouldn't be full price, I don't think. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to it. What about you? What's your number four? Well, I thought this is where you're going. And I'm sure, well, I'm not sure it's on your list, but it could be on your list. But I thought this was where you're going with a game that you've played before, kind of. Um, my number four is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Oh, okay. Um, now, I am bummed that, you know, it got pushed back till November. But, I mean, if they need more time, more power to them. Um, the, one of the most recent uh, teasers for this game was, like, the, the... I forget if it's just a level. Anyway, like I said before on the, episode, on the show, I've only played demos of these games. I've never actually played full games. But the skateboarding part in, I believe it's the third game, mm-hmm. um, I had the demo of that. And they showed that part off. And I've recently, side note, I guess, uh, I've recently been playing through some of the Tony Hawk games. Okay. So it's it's just apropos that this comes out. Right. And, you know, it shows off the skateboarding part. Because I... It controlled just as good as Tony Hawk back in the day, so I can only imagine how awesome it feels now. Yep. So I, I'm really excited to play through that that trilogy because I never have, and I don't think it's going to be a bad thing to have waited 20 years for this. No, yeah. I think that these are going to play incredibly well. I still am holding on to hope that they'll come out for the Switch. Yeah, me too. That I, I really hope happens. Um, I mean, I with, can't with, imagine why not with Crash Bandicoot coming. Exactly, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Exactly, so that's awesome. Yeah, go ahead with your number four. All right, so my number four game is uh, is a game that we talked about briefly last week, and you know it was a, because the Doom Eternal trailer dropped. Yeah, <laughs> we did a lot of coverage on uh, this game. Might be two weeks ago. Yeah, it could have been two weeks ago. I think Last it was. was Pokemon. You're right. <laughs> but either way, um, we talked about Doom Eternal. I'm really excited for I it. I mean, I am too. There are tons and tons of new features in the game, tons of new demons. Um, I've been playing Doom, the original Doom for the Nintendo Switch, uh, just to see if it held up and it was playable on that console. Um, because, again, that's the only console that I, that I own. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing Doom Eternal on it. I think it's going to just be great to have a game release with the other two major guys and then be able to have those conversations with people that are playing the game at the yeah. same time. Um, and as a, as a Nintendo fan or Nintendo owner, that's going to be a great feeling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. Cause there was stuff that wasn't coming to the Nintendo consoles for years. 
So it's going to be really reminiscent of like GameCube era. Um, well, look, look back at the one that comes to mind for me is I believe it was Call of Duty Black Ops. Mm-hmm. If you go, you know, if you A and B the 360 and the Wii port, the oh Wii version, so bad, terrible. I mean, yeah. it's just it's bad. Yeah. Um, but we're now in a in a point in time mm-hmm. where we have things like Wolfenstein. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yes, it's it's quote unquote downgraded mm-hmm. or, or whatever you want to call yeah. it. Um, but it's still playable and it still looks good. Uh, we're just in an awesome time. Like, you can be a Nintendo fan and play your AAA games at, on it. <laughs> yep. You know, maybe not all of them, but most, you know. Yep. So I'm really excited for Doom Eternal. Yeah. And that's going to be one of the uh, the games that I'm definitely picking up for the Switch when it comes out. Oh, yeah. Mike Bundy, what about you? What's your number three? Here's a game that will probably never come to the Switch. Um, but it'd be great if they figured it out. Uh, yeah. Fallout 76. Okay. Um, I mean, this game just looks mind-blowing as a, as a Fallout fan. Um, now, there, there's rumors that we're getting Fallout 3 or 4 ported. That's one of the rumors. For I've heard it. it. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it. Um, but Fallout 76, you know, I mean, obviously it's a brand new Fallout game, full game. But with this one, the big difference, as most people probably know, is you can play with your friends in multiplayer. And you can just go around, you can literally go nuke some random people. And that okay. just sounds awesome. Destroy all of their work. I I hope that there's a way to like revive your work. Like because mm-hmm. you can build like your own settlements and everything. Right. Um so I I hope that, that like it just kind of comes back or something. I don't know. But like if somebody comes along and just randomly blows up all the shit that I've been working on, mm-hmm. like, I'll be so mad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, it'll be fun to have those battles with different clans or whatever. Speaking of speaking of um, shared servers, and this is uh, totally off topic. Whatever. I, Minecraft servers are finally live. I so literally can, just updated that last night. Yeah, so now you can on. go in and destroy somebody else's world, as you mentioned. Which would be cool in Fallout um, 76 if you can do that. Cheap plug for other people, because why not? Uh, CC Gaming, Corey, who's been on the, on the podcast before, um, him and a bunch of other streamers, uh, they share a server. Oh, really? Like, some of them play on PC, some are on Switch. That's so cool. Xbox. Um, and they're calling it StreamerCraft. Yeah. Um, and it's just a big-ass world, and they just... That's so cool. They do whatever, you know? That's really cool. Yeah. That's so, awesome. You know, check it out on on all their places. Yeah, I might have to. Yeah, like it's that's really it's, neat. It's fun. So cool. Yeah. So moving on. Um, <laughs> my number three most anticipated game um, is actually one that's coming out next year that we know nothing about. Nothing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Zero. Well, I know where um, this is going. <laughs> yeah. It, and the only reason it's on my number three is because I don't know anything about it, and it is the core Pokemon game, the core RPG that's coming in yeah. 2019. Um, I'm excited to see what steps they take in Gen 7. Uh, I, I know that they're going to cater to the core, hardcore RPG audience yeah. with this one. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to seeing what the new um, way of, of EV training and IV breeding your Pokemon is going to be. I'm excited to see what new Pokemon come and how metagames change. I'm just really looking forward to it. My brain literally can't fathom what that game's going to look like. I know. Like I'm, I'm thinking, like let's go, but but at the it's same time, gonna be very but at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be that, but better. Well, so my <laughs> I imagine that it's gonna be something like Sun and Moon, yeah, um, with the 3D area that's well constructed but still keeps you in, yeah. Like Sun and Moon is, if you emulate the game in an emulator, right, you can upscale it all the way to 4K, mm-hmm. right, and it doesn't it doesn't hurt the integrity of the game, which means that they were trying to figure out how to produce an HD game. And that's another rumor is that those they're will be still going to be ported. Yeah. yeah. Um, which would be cool because if they did that and released it like in April, mm-hmm. if it's already ready to just click on, yeah, then they'd have uh, the competitive meta that 
you know, say it can communicate with the 3DS. Yeah. You know, if it just plays the same way as the online game, Mm -hmm. right? And then you can just do competitive that way for the rest of the year until Let's Go comes out. But that's a side different conversation but like i imagine it's going to look something like sun and moon yeah i mean probably with probably with your the upscale Mm -hmm. whatever you know yeah the graphical art style of let's go is just beautiful yeah so it's it's fantastic i i like where it's heading i can't wait for those games to come Mm out uh well speaking of those games it's my number two yeah uh pokemon let's go i just put let's go um yeah i'm both i'll probably primarily play pikachu yeah, because uh, that's going to be closer to the remake of the one yeah. that you played. Um, I figured I'd just give Tiff Eevee. She likes Eevee anyway, so whatever. Mm-hmm. She don't care. She probably won't even beat it. I'm um, probably gonna, that, <laughs> so just to continue the discussion, yeah. this is my number two game as well. Okay. Um, the I'm probably going to end up with Pikachu as well. Adriana is probably going to play with Eevee just because it has more options. She likes Eevee. You um, can't even evolve Eevee, though, can you? That's valid, right? Um, you can catch <laughs> I mean, you can't Eevees. probably evolve Pikachu either. True, and I'm probably just going to PC Pikachu, uh, to be fully honest with you, because um, yeah. you're going to be able to. It's still going to be on your right. shoulder and whatever, but it's just not going to be in your party. Um, Might make it less of a, you know, less hurtful, because yeah. he's still there. Yeah, exactly. Um, because I just genuinely don't, uh, I just genuinely don't use, like, use Pikachu that much. I do. Right there. I, mean, I like, I like Alolan Raichu a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I, I love regular. I love regular Raichu as well. Um, but I just, you know, I sit back and I'm like, eh, I don't really want Pikachu. Yeah. And if I can't evolve Eevee, I don't really want Eevee either. Right. So, it's a weird That's why scenario. you get the Let's Go Pikachu and get an Eevee somehow. Yeah. That's from, true. from Pokemon um, Go. There you go. Yep. So I'm really looking forward to those. More and more news trickles out here and there. Oh, yeah. The game looks fabulous. It's going to be a really great remaster. We're only two months away. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. It's I mean, we're in September. We yeah. didn't even talk about online service. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We haven't. Because we don't know anything. Yeah, exactly. That's probably going to be our, the majority of our conversation with the Direct. Well, I, I, I imagine that that's a big part of the Direct. Yeah. I hope. If not, yeah. it's going to be weird. But Right. Um, so uh, what's your number one? Most anticipated game of the year. It's probably this. <laughs> it's probably the same. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Wow, look at that. We are both really two excited for two. For that. Yeah, two well, for two. Number two and number one. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if anybody you know knows us, we love Smash Brothers. Oh yes. Um, and, and yeah, we didn't play as much as we would like to on the Wii U because. <laughs> You had a Wii U, and then I didn't have a Wii U, and then I had a Wii U. You didn't have a Wii U. Mm-hmm. It's just a big old cluster. I played it a lot on 3DS. I yeah, played it online a lot on 3DS. I didn't, but <laughs> um, I was looking in the buy in that because we all wanted to play because you can still play online. Mm-hmm. But Adriana and I it's own it. Still a forty dollar game. It is still a forty dollar game. <laughs> so that's why I didn't buy it. But I will so, be buying this. Yeah, right. So I've been watching gameplay videos of yeah. this uh, pretty frequently. The See, Smash... I don't do that. I don't do. I don't watch stuff. Okay. <laughs> A- Adriana said the same thing to me today about yeah. it. She just wants to see what's in the game when it comes out, and I'm just like, like I wish that there was nothing on this game other than, hey, you're getting a Smash Brothers. Well, no, in December. they've been displaying it at competitive tournaments, at fighting game I mean, tournaments. I mean, I'm going into like characters. Oh, like I want that surprise of like who the heck is coming up? Oh no, they'll announce all of them before the game. I'm just saying, but I gotta tell you, man, this (laughs) looks incredible. The Splatoon characters, yeah, look so sweet. The fact that you have to recharge your ink just like Splatoon, yeah, like that's incredible. Um, and they're being forgot about, I feel like, and, and, right, and because people of talking else. about this game, yeah, they're forgot about because, you know, they're the first thing. They were the initial the, yeah. Uh, release, yeah, that they were going to be in the game, and they showed them off at E3. So, like, you're right. I, I think that they've absolutely tabled the discussion on the Inklings because the Castlevania characters have been announced. Oh, yeah. King K. Rule has been announced. They've been showing off more of the competitive footage yeah. from the stuff that they're doing all across the country with with everything that's going on. All the assist trophies, all of the 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 news and the speculation about story mode. That like the inklings are in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, and they have a 
like you said, it's just like they are in Splatoon. Yep. You know, recharge their ink and yep. and whatnot, and like you slow down other characters when you splat them. Yep. It's, it's crazy. Hilarious. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. I want Captain Toad in the game. Just throwing it out there. I want him to not be able to jump. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's got to pull a thing out of his backpack and jump over, and then and then walk into it to be able to jump. Like that's what I want. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous, but hilarious at the same time. I know. I want Captain Toad in the game so bad. But like we said at the you know beginning of the episode, one one person I'd like is Crash. Um, yeah. One person I wouldn't like is Goku because who cares. Yep. Doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, yeah, we're getting Fighter Z on on uh, Switch, but I, that I don't know. I guess that it's kind of hypocritical if I say that that doesn't justify being in the game because Crash has a port. I don't know. But yeah, fair. I just, I just I don't care if Goku's in it. Right. But um, yeah, I'd, Spyro would be cool. Yep. Especially if they port that game. Um, I'm trying to think of other one. Waluigi. Everybody wants Waluigi. I think Waluigi's been announced as like a. He's a trophy. Yeah. Right. Oh, an assist okay. trophy. Okay. Um. I gotcha. He's yeah, not playable. Not playable. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Because I mean, <laughs> we've got Wario. Right. But more for if we have Waluigi. Right. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm I don't know. Luigi's dead. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What more do we talk about on this game? I know. I know. Uh, well, we'll have plenty when they yeah, talk wait. a little bit more about story mode. Wait, and or that, whatever and, that other mode is. And dude, it has to be. I, I can't think of anything else that it is. I agree. So, well, man, this has been a good discussion. There's a lot of great stuff that's coming down the pipeline. Um, and Spider-Man we're really in four hours? Yep, Spider-Man in four hours for you. I, I literally can't that tell in the all the people how excited I am I know. for this darn game. So. And that's your most anticipated at this moment. <laughs> yeah, I, here's the thing. Uh, I didn't put it on the list because it's it's in four hours. And by the time you probably hear this, it's already out. So yep. the anticipation will be over, and it will just be living the awesomeness. Yep. Well, guys, thanks for uh, sticking with us, and thanks for listening to this episode of Geek Tavern Radio. Um Mike Bundy, where can they find you if they want to talk to you outside of the podcast? Well, you can find me on Twitter, at MikeBundy316, on Instagram, at MikeBundy316. And like I said, Spider-Man will be out, but I plan on streaming this in the morning. So uh, catch my streams of Spider-Man on YouTube, where you can search Mike Space Bundy, and you'll find me there. Uh, Where can they find you at? Um, You can follow me. On Twitter, at shill underscore DS. You can follow me on Instagram, at shill underscore DS. And you can subscribe to my YouTube, at shill underscore DS. And you can stay in touch with all of us by hopping into our Discord. The link will be in the show notes. We would love to have you engaged with the conversation there as well. You can also follow us on Twitter, at Geek Tavern. Well, once again, you guys, thank you so much for downloading this episode of Geek Tavern Radio. It has truly been a blast. Now head on out there. Press start and keep on gaming.